friends hope you are fine and taking care of yourself this is my next topic on the chapter electricity before starting the topic please do like and subscribe my channel press the bell icon button for further notification let's come to the topic today's topic is resistance of a system of resistors we have done earlier in ohm's law that resistance is there v is equal to ir we have done now instead of this if we are having number of resistors daily life with one resistor not possible we are having at our home different resistors like bulb press geyser so they all are combined in the different circuits so resistors can be combined in different ways the first way is resistor in series combination second is resistance in resistors in parallel combination resistors in series and parallel combination so we will do these all combination one by one in today's topic we are going to do first let us do resistors let us do combine resistors in series combination first as you are watching our written here series combination for the series combination what does it mean you are watching in this circuit i am having r1 resistor r2 resistor and r3 resistor and they are joined together with end to end combination how they are joined end to end one by one so this type of combination is series combination about parallel and series and parallel we will do in the next lecture before going further how to find out the total resistance of this combination like in your maths you used to do the total sum of all the quantities here also we have to find total resistance of the resistors first we have to find ki what is the value of the current and potential in series combination let us do first the current in circuit series combination you are watching i am having a battery this is the key this emitter measures the current reading and i have joined r1 r2 r3 in series combination then i will plug the key the current start flowing in the circuit and we will measure this reading through the emitter now plug out the key and replace the emitter from this position in between r1 and r2 where i have connected it now in between r1 and r2 again plug the key and measure the reading again in the emitter we will observe that again the reading is i there is no change in reading now let us find out between r2 and r3 is there any change would take place let us join it with between r2 and r3 anywhere in between r2 and r3 so again plug the key like this so what you will observe you will again observe ki throughout the circuit this current reading always remain the same wherever you will connect the emitter across each resistor you will connect or after all the combinations you will connect it means in series combination we will use this result ki current is same throughout the circuit and for each resistor in the combination because without these result we can't find the total resistance so wherever we will do series combination we will always take i constant that is same throughout the circuit now let's come towards the next activity before doing the total resistance how to find the potential difference in series circuit again you are watching here this time i am connecting voltmeter because already you know that voltmeter measures the potential difference so one voltmeter i have connected across the combination you can check this r1 r2 r3 are connected in series and this voltmeter is connected across the combination and what about these voltmeters you are watching one voltmeter is connected across r1 that is in parallel combination second voltmeter is connected connected across r2 resistor and third voltmeter is connected across only third resistor so when we will plug the key current start flowing through it and we would observe that if this total potential is the sum of the individual potential means that is potential will change according to the resistors current throughout the circuit would remain same but potential according to each resistor will get a 
change that is across r v1 across r1 v2 across r2 and v3 across r3 so these two result we will use in the activity further we will do now how to find out the total resistance it means when you will combine these what is the total sum will come of the resistance means single value that potential and current should remain at that time so let us do that now further is now equivalent resistance of series combination means we are finding the total resistance of this combination so as you are watching r1 r2 r3 are combined and 2 and so they are in series now let's say find out the derivation for that so across r1 v1 is a voltmeter connected across r2 v2 voltmeter and across r3 v3 voltmeter and this v will give the total potential see here let i be the current flowing through the circuit and v be the potential difference across the combination of the resistor mean total potential and also let v1 v2 and v3 be the potential differences across r1 r2 and r3 means according to the resistors potential changes now we are going to find total so let rs is the equivalent resistance of the series combination now we have to find how we will do this combination so let uh, we have written rs is the equivalent combination we know it in the last activity we have proved v is equal to v1 v2 plus v3 total potential is the sum of individual potentials and current already will remain same now we will apply what in this equation by ohm's law by ohm's law what we have done in ohm's law v is equal to ir so when we are taking total potential we will take total resistance so what we will write v is equal to i r s similarly what is v1 v1 is i r1 because current would remain the same what about v2 what about v2 v2 would be i r2 current would remain same and what about v3 i r3 so we have got the values now we will put all these values in equation 1 so we will get i r s is equal to instead of v1 we will write i r1 plus v2 we will write i r2 v3 we will write i r3 their values in terms of current and resistance so here we will take i common r1 plus r2 plus r3 so this in next step you will see this i would cancel with each other so we will get the total resistance is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 means the total resistance in series combination is the sum of individual resistances that is r1 plus r2 plus r3 if you are having n resistors of same value so then how to find out the total resistance then rs would be equal to r1 plus r2 up to rn this i am saying when they all are identical so what we will write rs is equal to n into r what is n number of resistors and what is r value of each resistor so you can understand it like i am having 100 bulbs of 10 ohm each what i am saying 100 bulbs of 10 ohm each so what is the total resistance in series when you will connect these bulb so you will get rs is 100 into 10 so the resistance would be 1000 ohm you will get means in series combination i hope you have understood this in series combination total resistance increases so this is the derivation this used to come in the paper ki derive an expression for the total resistance in series combination so we will do according to this we will draw the circuit diagram it is necessary to plug the key i forgot in the starting so you have to put it every time the plug in key so like this you have to write you have to assume this this equation we have done earlier so directly you will use here and then ohm's law and according to that you will do you can do many examples like you can take like uh, i have given you one example 100 bulb of 10 ohm each combined in series find out total resistance similarly you can do other questions which are given in your book on uh, on page number like 212 13 you can check there also the different examples or anywhere from your other help books you can check these questions you can do for the 
series combination also i have given you one or two question in description box that that question also you can try so this is all about for today thank you for watching my video